What's up guys? Welcome back. Zyber Knight here, your Tech and Games Crusader, aka Kevin, and uh we have a new video that is going to go over some features and basics of the new Samurai Showdown called uh Return of a Legend that released today. And uh yeah, let's uh see what this is all about and give some feedback and some discussion afterwards and uh state some impressions and such and see how you guys feel about it so uh let's go ahead and shrink me down i'm small and where am i all right yeah, let's uh, go ahead and get to it, guys, and see what this is all about. Nice. So it's put in uh, video game articles and stuff about the game. Oh, it's going in on the violence. That's for sure. It's in that in -ring. For a samurai, death is always at your doorstep. I like the narrative. Embrace death, and nothing can stand in your way. But since 1993, Samurai Showdown has been a legend of the fighting game scene. Now, this genre titan is back with a highly anticipated return of form. So draw your blades. Is a new era of samurai is upon us. There's that new team there. It's time to discover your true potential. What? Was that weapon. dinosaur? Best friend. Talon or suffer the consequences. Are they taking stuff from the Power Rangers Battle for the Grid? Timing is everything. Because in this game, single strikes hit like a damn freight train. Hey, Lenny See, see that? That's your rage gauge. Rage you take damage, gauge. you get heated. It's that simple. When it's full, your attacks get full so like damage. But at any point in the you match, damage, you, you can heated. risk it all by sacrificing your entire rage gauge to get heated quick and access your lightning blade ability, oh, cool. dealing massive table-turning damage so, to your opponent. Are behind the lightning blade. Battle your way through Hi, an epic can... story of roaming warriors and looming darkness. In this prequel to the original 1993 Samurai oh, wow. Showdown, choose a warrior and experience so their may unique not be journey one, from constant rivals Hamaru and Genjuro to classics like Charlotte and newcomers like Darling. Once you've honed your style, How is you begin your own journey you online against your it. peers. But if you need some practice, take it offline and step into the dojo. Dojo. Ooh. This unique gameplay feature promises to change how you train and fight. Nice. While you practice offline, it's like or a training mode. mode. The game is watching you. Learning, oh, wow. calculating, mapping your play style, so it's predictive AI. a simulation of you. The game Wait. creates an AI ghost, ghost? that moves and yes! fights just like you. That's this awesome. is your chance to experience the future of fighting. Play against yourself and discover your weaknesses before someone else does. How cool. Then. Send your ghost fighters into the cloud for That's others awesome. to challenge. So it has turn, ghost fighters like uh, Tekken World ghosts, and uh, or the ghosts Thorns of your favorite players. Imagine being able to enter the ring with one of the world's top Calibre players two in the right arcade very own coach. <laughs> There's lots to learn and lots to practice. I like that Steady this mode is like a training mode, Focus but it has me stuck on a uh, bland death. training mode, square, gray, white looking battle room stage, like Street Fighter V and Power Rangers Battle for the Grid does. I don't like those kind of stages. It's just an excuse to put in a basic looking stage. Wait, what? Purchase 
before June 30th to get the season pass free. Pre-order or buy the game on PSN, Xbox Live, or any physical retailer, and you can download the season pass absolutely free through the PlayStation Store or Xbox Live. Must be redeemed before June 30th. Regional restrictions apply. What? What? Um, what? Guys? Um, make me grow. There we go. Um, what? Um, are, are they seriously giving away the season pass? If so, that's awesome. Like, that changes up the way that most fighting games are done. They don't just give you a, a season pass content for free. Like, usually you have a deluxe version or an ultimate version that you have to buy that includes a season pass. So, um, wow. Um, okay. They stated online on Twitter a couple of days ago that um, they would have some big news to drop for Samurai Showdown. That's definitely some big news. Like, if we get a season pass, six months of content, which is typically on King of Fighters 14, it was $7.99 per character, and they also had other costumes and stuff, and that was included with each character. So typically, just the character themselves were $5.99, and then the extra costume DLC was another $2.00. If they're doing six months of content for free, if you pre-order or buy the game by the end of the first week of release, because it comes out the 25th in the U.S., 27th in Japan, that's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. I was really wanting to get this on PC and not have to worry about console because I don't play online and I want to play the optimized best running and best looking version of the game that I can which is why I prefer PC because I can modify things and also there are programs that you can change uh, filtering for and shaders like sweet effects and EMB to be able to have it look even better and get rid of some of the blockiness in the graphic style and things wow um you know it's just personally me I don't, I don't like to play fighting games online. It's I, I don't have any uh, reason to want to because I have a, a few friends that I can play fighting games offline locally with, and I don't like how Soul Calibur Six did, where they baked in input lag and frame delay into the offline experience to make it feel like the online experience be was better, and it's just kind of stupid to me that's my own personal opinion you guys are perfectly fine to disagree with it i never have enjoyed having a, an online experience justify how well i can play a game whether i know how to or not just being restricted like that is not my cup of tea so um yeah i build fighting sticks for a a few friends and I play with them offline so I don't really have a reason to care about leaderboards or leagues or points and ranked and all that stuff because it, I don't care where I rank among other people you know I retired from the FGC as far as competing in a competitive environment eight years ago well technically the last tournament that I did for a fighting game on uh, arcades was uh, Tekken 5 uh, second uh, release and that was I think 2006 so yeah it's been a while it's been 13 years now and I enjoyed the mechanics and figuring out fighting games and breaking them down but I don't care about frame counts and all of that garbage that modern fighting game people use and I feel it's just cheating. You know, just play a game. Learn it. 
don't worry about counting frames and all that stuff. Enjoy the game. If you don't enjoy it, why play it? Uh, that's just my own personal opinion. And this game, back in the day, it was accessible to newcomers. Whether, yeah, that that definitely looks like Dinosaur Claw out of the sky, like Goldar's foot from Power Rangers Battle for the Grid in the Mega Ultra form. Um, that definitely looks very similar to Power Rangers Battle for the Grid's um, Mega Ultra form. But that wasn't a Mega Ultra form. That just looked like it was a special move or something. But um, what I was getting back to, when the game came out in 93 in the arcades on Neo Geo platform, it was accessible because it had clashes, which gave a benefit to people that didn't even know how to play the game. They just sit there and mash buttons, and you can do something cool. Because you could disarm your opponent just by mashing buttons if you rushed in too fast. You had a chance of losing your weapon and having to recover it. And it you could take more damage while you were without your weapon. So that, I like that they're bringing that aspect back with the Clash system. I wish that uh, Soul Calibur would get off its high horse trying to imitate Street Fighter V and be its own beast again and its own proper franchise and take out motion blur and all this other stuff and the bars and everything. Get back to the pure mechanics of Soul Charge and... The Clash system, that was really fun back in the original Soul Calibur and Soul Blade, Soul Edge games. They've lost their identity along the way in the last 18 years. And, um, yeah, it's just... I wouldn't say 18 years, I would say 14 years. Since Soul Calibur 4, Soul Calibur 3, really... It, it's lost its identity. It needs to get back to the pure fun of movement and eight-way run combat and stuff. And stop giving everything a duplication for your down back and your down forward eight-way run moves. But guys, uh, this game is coming in a little over a month. And we have more incentive if you have any desire at all to want to play this game. This boosts that big time by being able to get the season pass for free, physically purchased or digitally purchased, on the Xbox One or PS4. I I may actually be picking this up on Xbox One, just because that would be the best looking version, running version I could get on console. Until the PC version comes out, which I will inevitably get, because that's where I play my fighting games at, so I can modify and make things look as good. High resolution, 4K, 60 frames, and do everything I can for dynamic super resolution to make it like 8K accessibly, or 6K accessibly, frames of textures and resolution, and not have to worry about jaggies and stuff with and aliasing this game is doing right what most people are doing wrong in triple a titles with Unreal engine 4 which is it's disabled the baked in motion blur and chromatic aberration and depth of field to actually make the art style shine and it doesn't take a genius to be able to take and unable disable a few check boxes to make the game look better and run better over having it kept enabled like Bandai Namco likes to do for Soul Calibur 6 and Street Fighter 5 likes to do to where it gives it a stylized appearance that also in it inhibits your performance on the game so yeah look at him just oh, he's just chomping down on that so with this being a prequel, I'm definitely excited to see who the big bad is in the game as well, since it could possibly not be a Madarasu. Guys, this is Zyber Knight, your Tekken Games Crusader, aka Kevin. Hyped for this game, as always, with a few caveats, especially towards this ghost mode, which I really enjoyed in Killer Instinct and Tekken World and Tekken Revolution and just to be able to 
fight against yourself. If you don't have anybody else to fight with, you don't even need to go online. You can just play against your AI and get better. Find holes in your game and improve. Cyber Knight. Signing out. Guys, have a good night, good day. Take care. We'll see you later.